Good morning, I'm Vicky Higgins and today on the Morning Reflection we are looking at a passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and I'll read some verses from that passage now. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again or do we need, like some people, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter, written on your hearts, known and read by everybody. You show that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such confidence as this is ours through Christ before God, not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything, but our competence comes from God. He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. When anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. So looking at this passage today, the first thing that stood out for me was around the letter of recommendation. It made me think of young people starting to try and get a job, getting a foot in the employment market and how powerful a contact can be. A recommendation from someone who has done the job before, who has worked there before, is really important. A contact from someone who the employer values and then vouching for the, for the person is also really important. And in our Christian lives, the job is, if you like, ministry. It's the commission to go and tell to show people the truth of God and invite them to welcome God into their lives. For most of my life, I've found this commission challenging, if I'm honest. Not because I don't want to do it, but because I have been left often with the feeling of not being competent enough. I have not felt good enough for the job. And this passage is clear and pretty reassuring. Jesus dying and rising again and us accepting God into our lives is the recommendation. It's God saying, yes, we can do it. You can speak on my behalf. And the centrality of the Holy Spirit is really key because God is not recommending us on our own for the, these key roles. So when God recommends Vicky, it's always with the Holy Spirit. And together we can fill the vacancy just fine. I need to remind myself of the verse that says it is not in our own, in our own right that we are able to do this job, but only with the support of God. So going off thinking we are doing it on our own or trying to do it on our own means that we're not getting it right. We need to work as part of a team. Again, it reminded me when Jesus sent the disciples out for the first time, how important it was that he sent them out in pairs. And of course, that was before Pentecost. So the pair was two physical people. Now, after his rising and after the Holy Spirit is bestowed on the living disciples, I guess the message is we don't need a physical partner, although, of course, that's often helpful, reassuring and more fun. But we are okay on our own to fulfill the job of God's ministry because our partner is the Holy Spirit. It reminds me again how important it is for us to spend time with God, with no veil, with no barriers, just as we are accepting the blessing of the Spirit time and time again. This blessing from the Holy Spirit and our love for our God means we are recommended by the highest authority. By spending time with God at the start of each day means that we will also succeed because God is at the beginning when we find him and he recommends us and at the end when we enter the glory of the kingdom of heaven and hopefully see those who we have counted along our life 
and there may be in part due to our ministry. And finally, this passage resonated with me as a letter of recommendation and the young people and starting something. And it made me think about the confirmation service on Sunday that Sophie and Darcy, my daughters, are part of, along with Scarlett, Ivushka, Jack, Peter and Matthew. And I just wanted to ask that, uh, well, that we can pray for them now and maybe as they prepare for their, conversation, their confirmation. So to end with a prayer. Dear Lord, you are the new covenant, the new commandment who has been given to us. We pray for the young people who are saying yes to a life in you on Sunday. We pray for the families and supporters that the letter of recommendation will be supported by us, showing them about living in a relationship with God. And I pray that they will have the confidence to go and tell filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray you protect them from harm, physically and spiritually, as they take the next steps. We pray for your Holy Spirit on them and all your church to witness your goodness, show your love and compassion, and to allow a transformation to take place. Amen.